look like you're ready for winter. I am. Okay. Now we got your snow tires. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice 32 degrees out this morning. Some wintry mix. And oh, is it pretty. I love winter, but this year I was hoping it was going to come a little later. I was hoping I was going to be able to get this all raked out and seeded. <sighs> but no such luck. Maybe we'll get another warm spell and that'll dry out and we can rake it. But we keep getting so much rain. The little bit of rain we got yesterday even made huge puddles out here. What do you think of the snow? Huh? Oh, you might as well get used to it. We're gonna have lots of it. Do you like the snow there, Buttercup? I hope you do. Really? We got that much rain and snow overnight? I emptied that out when I fed him last night. That's crazy. You don't want to go out, do you there, Willow? Goats are not a fan of water. They don't like rain. They don't like snow. So it'll be interesting to see how the goats handle it this winter. For a while yesterday, they actually came out in the rain and they were out in like the apple orchard area in the rain. So they seem to be getting a little bit better with the rain, so hoping maybe they'll get the same way with the snow. It'll be a long winter for them if they don't like the snow at all. This is going to be our first winter with goats. We raised winter pigs last year, and they did good in the snow. They were out in a pasture the whole, all winter long, and last winter was a really long, cold, snowy winter for us, and our pigs did really well. Trying to get mom's feed there, buttercup. Watch out. Our bucket's probably about a quarter of the way full. Once it starts, I don't know, maybe halfway full, I fall, I'm gonna order some composting worms and set it up in the basement. That'll be a fun winter project. Willow enjoys her time in the milk stand. She's never in a rush to leave it. She's in a rush sometimes to get done with milking, but most of the days she doesn't want to leave even when her feed dish is empty, like it is right now. You ready there, Willow? Come on. Let's go. Go. It's a good thing Pluto loves the snow, huh, Pluto? You love winter, don't you? Yeah, Blossom's over there blatting away, but she's got a full mouth of hay. What are you girls up to? So Sausage, in the colder weather, has been having a bum leg when she first gets up from laying down. Kind of thinking it's a sore muscle or a tight muscle because when she's up and walking around after a while, she's walking fine. Andy, your uh, hair's a little crazy today. Did you spike it? Did you put some gel in it or what? 
I kind of like it. I want to see if I can get their feed in that squash. They might not let me. Let's see. Come fast enough. Look at that. It's like instead of a bread bowl of soup, it's a pumpkin bowl of grain. Pumpkin flavored grain. What do you think? Is that festive for you? What's the matter, Pluto? You look cold. No? There we go. Oh, curious to see what they think about the slush today. The last time we had snow, Moose didn't care for it. You used to it? What do you think, Moose? Huh? What do you think? You're a prima donna and you don't want to get cold feet? Oh, Moose. Hey, we'll give the girls a squash bowl. Not even November yet. <clears throat> it's just a wet, cold, yucky day today. And it's gonna be that way all day. Before we go outside and start working, I wanna get a good, hearty chicken stew going in the crock pot. So that way I know tonight when we come in, we're gonna have something good to eat and then I'll warm us up. Now I'll try to give you the recipe. I'll try to give you the recipe as we go. I'm gonna be using about four-ish cups of chicken broth. This is bone broth that we made after we cooked up one of our whole chickens. I'm using. I'm gonna put the crock pot on low. I'm gonna use between five and six potatoes, depending on the size. About four carrots, I think I got three here, three and a half. Everybody always asks, where'd you learn to cook? We, when we were growing up, my mom made us cook one night a week. I forget how old we were when it started. And man, did we hate it. But I'll tell you what, it comes in so handy. And then I've just refined my skills over the years. I'm a fussy eater. So, I figure if I'm gonna be a fussy eater, I gotta learn how to cook right. So if I don't like it, I won't even eat my own food that I cook. Garlic, I'm gonna use three to four cloves of garlic. Use as much or as little as you want. I'm using leftover pre-cooked chicken when we cooked up a whole chicken the other day. This is how we make most of our soups and stews. So we, use our, we use our leftover meat. Now that I know we'll have something good to come into later on tonight for dinner, we can go out and start working with the excavator. You know how they always say, buy the worst house in the best neighborhood? Well, we literally bought the worst house. This property here was a foreclosure. There was a house on it where our house is that had burnt. So we bought the property foreclosed with a burnt house on it. And it was overgrown quite a bit. I said it in the previous videos that this pasture was a lot of brush, it, really, it wasn't a pasture. It was at one point and then it was neglected and there was trees probably that big around or bigger growing up in it. All around this rock wall had trees like this, but worse on the other side. We cut those the first year we owned the property, but I wanna clean up in here along the driveway today. I 
wonder if the heat's warm yet. Yeah, a little bit.
to get this root out without destroying the wall. So close, we're getting it. It's starting to rain out pretty good right now. You gotta go in the house, and I'm gonna cut these trees up and get them out of our way. I'll be right back and we'll start smoothing out the driveway. That opened it up a lot more. That's gonna be nice. To thicken the stew, I melted seven tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add in seven tablespoons of flour. I messed up earlier. I put the crock pot I thought on high and I turned it on low. So I had to put the stew in a pot and get it boiling for a while. I like to just keep adding a little bit of broth to my mixture and thickening, thickening up a little bit of the broth this way before I add it to whatever stew or whatever I'm thickening at the time. That's for the zucchini bread that we got in the oven. Let that sit and it'll thicken up a little bit more.
thank everybody for coming along and following us on the journey we're on building our modern homestead. I just wanted to encourage everybody because I have to remind myself all the time. We need to remind ourselves it's progress, not perfection. I'm always catching myself in it thinking, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. I wish I had this done, I wish I had that done. So we just need to remind ourselves and look back and see where we've come from and what we've done. And that doesn't always just mean projects that you're working on, on your modern homestead, but it means the skills you're learning, what you've learned to cook. I mean, the, the list just goes on and on. So we always just need to be keeping a positive attitude and looking at where we've come from, where we are, and where we want to go. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us as we build our modern homestead, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.